Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. How are you? Happy Saturday. We are going to kick back and do a little crafting tonight. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in, everyone. Uh, grab a beverage. Relax. It's time for a little creative escape. I, I'm certainly ready. How about you? Uh, hot weather. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about how hot it is. Um, I'm a little embarrassed to, uh, or I feel bad because here in Minnesota, we just had a big storm go through. And so it's not too bad. It's um, 73 right now. So I think it's going to be cooler tomorrow and then it's going to get all hot again. So we'll enjoy it while we can, right? Uh, welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Linda, Roz, Jean, Brenda, Carol, Judy, the gang's all here. Welcome, welcome. Meryl, Ann, Diane, welcome. So glad that you guys can hang out with me. Kathy's here too fabulous. So we're going to, uh, we're going to cool down tonight. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to take a little fall escape and, uh, you like leaf stamps. I, it says Jay Rinker. What is your first name? Um, I'll just call you Jay <laughs> for now until you tell me your name, but, um, I love leaf stamps too. I love autumn. That is my favorite favorite season. Uh, the weather, this is always the best. Uh, we got married in um, September 28th. It's our anniversary. And so I just, I love fall. So Mary's here. Beth is here. Fabulous. Teresa. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. So we're going to create tonight with a beautiful stamp set called Soft Seedlings. It is a maple leaf along with the um, what a week. What does my husband call them? Wing dings, I think. The little uh, maple seeds. And so what I like about this set is that you actually could use it for uh, spring or year round as well. So, um, it, you know, it's versatile in my mind. And so uh, we're actually going to make two cards tonight. Oh, what? I know. We're going to make uh, the card that I had pictured. And then I'm hoping you'll help me create a second one that's going to look completely completely different. It's not going to be fall, but it's going to be with the same uh, same set. So that said, let's take it away. Oh, helicopters. Yes. The little maple things, helicopters. Yes, exactly. Um, and so, uh, oh, your anniversary is the 22nd. 50th anniversary. Oh, awesome. Yeah, the fall colors in Minnesota can be spectacular. It depends on the rain. Janine, nice to meet you, Janine. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, Bonnie in Puerto Rico. How are things there? Are they warm, I'm guessing? <laughs> and Mary Ellen is here too. Great. So we're going to um, do a little fall creating tonight. And I was going to say something else. What was it? Oh, yes. Um, Crafter Noon. So the last video when I went live was on the 20th. Whirligigs. That's another great name for those maple things. <laughs> Uh, Crafternoon was this past week on the 20th. That was when the video was. I have been working very hard, whew, very hard, I kid you not, on the tutorials. Uh, four down. Got one more to go in process. So uh, thank you for your patience on that tutorial bundle. I'm hoping the blog post will go up tomorrow and that the tutorial bundle will be available. For those of you who placed an order last month, you got the packet to make the project this month. You get the tutorial bundle for free. So I will email that to you just as soon as it's ready, as soon as it gets baked and is out of the oven. Uh, the other four are in the process of being uh, checked over by some team members. And um, and then I will do one more check over because I kind of have the big picture, right? And I just count all the, do I have all the pieces? Do I have the sizes? All those things. Because, you know, it should, be, it should be accurate, right? So thanks for your patience. It's coming. Um, let's go ahead and start some creating. Enough with the chit chat, right? I'm going to go here. Although we stampers like to chit chat, don't we? So we're on my desk here. Let's take a peek at this gorgeous stamp set. So it's called soft ceiling. But no, it's not ceiling, Susan. Soft seedlings. Uh, we've got thinking of you, so grateful for you, and hello. So some really nice greetings. Um, so grateful is perfect for the fall season, of course. 
I love a good thinking of you stamp. And this one is really nice. I like the font. So we're going to use that one tonight. Uh, but for you is another really, really handy stamp uh, to have because we don't always know when we're creating our cards what we're going to use them for. So thinking of you and for you are nice and generic and could go for so many different occasions, right? So we have this gorgeous image. The stamp is textured right on the image so that you get um, you get lights and darks when you stamp it without any extra work. One ink and you get all of that shading. So um, you could certainly take a sponge dauber and do multiple colors. We're going to just do it. We're going to keep it easy tonight. One color. And then we have this helicopter wingding, whirligig, whatever you want to call it, a separate one of those um, as well. So we're going to use that stamp set and we're also going to use an absolutely gorgeous uh, embossing folder. I love embossing folders. Anyone else out there a fan of uh, dry embossing with the with the big shot machine or the I should say the stamp and emboss machine now. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I'm going to show you what it looks like on a card. Hang on. Let's grab our Crafternoon cards. So this last Crafternoon, we made the uh, pop up, pop out bendy uh, fun fold cards. So we slide the belly band off and then inside that image pops out and it's on a... Um, a bendy piece and also on a wobble so it can wobble and that you'll see that on some of the others here but I want to show you what that folder looks like so one of the alternate cards this was the one that I sent the packets out to people who placed an order they either got the pink or the purple blue um, and of course we did this version with the tree lot dies and that fun little camper so get a little masculine here and this one does wobble quite nicely <laughs> just like driving along uh, my sister and her husband are camping in their camper van right now very popular thing to do in the summer right um, but just a nice masculine card this is the one i was looking for um, so this is the embossing folder we're going to use this was another uh, one of the alternate versions um, this one i used the perched in a tree bundle which has this super cool um, aspen die here um, but i love this leaf fall embossing folder um, and it is just perfect for uh, the fall. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we also had our Halloween card. This one is really fun and how it wobbles because we've got our little witch's feet inside and then they do stand. Uh, put it up here. They do stand for display so that the recipient can show off the card. All right, and then of course we had one more and that was the Christmas door card here. All right, so let's get this party started. I'm gonna bring in the uh, die cutting machine and we're gonna do a little embossing first. Thank you, Bev. All right, so hmm, I got my camera way too close. Okay, hold on guys, you're gonna go up. <laughs> up a little bit there we go and i'm gonna move that little stand that i had the card on because it's gonna get in the way here uh, i usually emboss at a different area in my craft room but then you wouldn't be able to see it if i was over there so i've got too many parts and pieces here um yeah we're gonna start with embossing and then we'll set this aside so this is as i mentioned a 3d folder the 3d folders are thicker and they do a little bit deeper impression so with the 3d folder all you need is the number one platform and the number four plate both of these come in the machine you get everything you need to do all the things which is awesome so somewhere i've got a bin with <clears throat> some cardstock pieces in it. Let's grab a piece of cherry cobbler. Now I'm doing this card in cherry cobbler. It would also be pretty in some other fall colors. You could do Mary Merlot. You could do, um, how, what else could you do? You know what? I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn this. How do I want to do this? Um, I'm going to have my, I'm going to go like this. 
I'm going to have my, uh, um, let me think. I'm thinking it hurts. Okay, I'm going to go this way because I'm going to have my image down here. So I want to see the most leaves possible. So it is called leaf fall. So it doesn't have leaves everywhere. They're actually in a sort of falling pattern um, that you can use on your card. We're, we're going to kind of skip that. And I'm going to put this top plate on and send this through. Cajun craze would be a great choice for fall colors. Uh, Mary Merlot, uh, crushed curry. Um, the browns are always good for fall, so soft suede. Um, lots of good choices. Cherry cobbler is one of my favorites for fall. So I also like to use um, early espresso a lot for fall. So can you see that beautiful deep impression there? A little dust on my card here. So really, really pretty. So I'm going to put it this direction. And we're going to set aside our embossing folder. Actually, we're going to set this whole business aside and do a little stamping. And then we're going to bring this back in to die cut out our image. So I'm going to pop this on the chair behind me. And all right, bring out this bin here. And so I have a three by three piece of very vanilla cardstock. By the way, this piece is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer here. And we're going to bring in our stamped image here, the leaf. And let's grab the cherry cobbler ink pad. Dang, I did not have that closed all the way. What was I doing the last time I used that? So I'm inking up my image here. And again, it's going to, you can see the texture on the stamp. So it's going, it's made to stamp lighter in some areas and darker in others, which is super cool. Makes it really easy. And somebody in the comments said they did the uh, baby wipe technique with this. That would be a great way to um, do, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Janine. I uh, put your name up there and that was accident. <clears throat> sorry about that. So we're going to grab this. I need a scrap paper though. So I'm going to bring this piece in and we're going to stamp our leaf. Okay. And I want to position it so that the point of the leaf is on my paper the bottom point. I don't really care about the stems and all this other stuff. I just want to make sure I have all of the maple leaf. Pretty big stamp. So I'm going to use the heel of my hand to press that. This one is um, good size. So the block uh, E is a perfect size for this one. So there we have that stamped image. And you can see there how it does the lights and the darks just with the texturing right on the stamp. And so now we're ready to go ahead and die cut this. So let's bring that die cutting machine back in. There we go. All right. Hi, Cynthia, how are you? And a special shout out to all of my, uh, any of my Stamp Field Stars team members who are watching tonight. Hey guys. I do a separate video for them every Thursday evening. So uh, my team members are people who um, have purchased the starter kit. They realized that there were a lot of Stampin' Up! things that they wanted, and they wanted to get them at a discount. <laughs> so they opted for the starter kit, which is um, 90, uh, you pay $99, you get $125 of your choice in the kit. So this is the Stylish Shape Styes trying to get it all on camera. There we go. And I'm going to use the squares and I'm going to use the um, second down from smallest. I like to number them. So one, two, three, four. Let's call it, if this was number one, this would be number four day. There are five squares in this set. So I'm just going to lay that on there and capture most of that maple leaf. This piece on top here. 
It really is a great leaf. <laughs> Hmm, Linda, you tried to look at your email. It kept telling Amy invalid. Hmm. The email, you got an email from me and it wouldn't let you open it? How weird is that? All right, I'm going to pull this aside. Um, Linda, if you could shoot me an email at, where's my email address? Susan at SueStanfield.com. We'll get you, we'll get you sorted. We'll get you figured out. So Susan at SueStanfield.com is my email. So, oh, lots of thunderstorms going through at your end. Yeah, they've um, they stopped right now. It's still looking a little bit dark out there, but I didn't see any more on the radar. So I'm hoping we're done. So I'm going to pull that off and you can see that these dies add this little stitching detail on the edges, which is just a little nice extra finishing touch. So zoom back out again so we'll put our die back uh, where it belongs and I think we are all done with the machine here so I'm going to put it out of our way so the project sheets uh, somebody was asking about the emails so I I send project sheet emails um, <laughs> Jean 17 years on our team Awesome. That's so cool, Jean. You're like, you're getting close to your 20. Wow. That's amazing. So cool. Um, yeah. Jean's been on my team. She's been a happy hobby demonstrator. Would you call yourself a hobby demonstrator, Jean? You're in it for the discount mostly uh, for 17 years. All right. So we've got this piece here. So that's going to go on there, but we're going to add a little bit of fun behind there. <laughs> a little party behind. Okay. I have to reach across. I'm probably going to bump my camera. I'm going to slide it over a little bit. My uh, tummy is bigger since COVID. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use the brushed uh, metallics cardstock. When you get the brushed metallics, you get three colors. Maybe the better way to show you the colors is actually actually right here. So this is all in one pack of foils and it's called the brushed metallics and you get the copper, you get the gold and they call this one bronze. I don't know. It's pretty light. I think of bronze as a darker color, but anyway, if you're wondering what they mean by bronze, it's actually quite light. It's more like kind of like a champagne color is more what I would refer to it as. So I've got that champagne color right here and I'm going to layer that right behind our die cut piece. Now we stamped that leaf on a three by three but then we die cut it out and so the finish size is just under two and a half. So I've cut my square two and a half by two and a half. Now I am I frequently <laughs> will die cut something else out of the middle um, because it's going to be covered up and no one's going to see it. I'm not going to do that today but you totally could, you guys. Totally you could do that. So that's going to go there. Let's bring in our card base here. And this is a standard. Oh, I am way too close. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like those sound effects? <laughs> We're just so fancy here. Um, so this is Cherry Cobbler, eight and a half by 11, cut in half. So it's five and a half. No, it's eight and a half by, yeah, eight and a half by five and a half. Oh my goodness. All right, I got to find a bone folder. They're all, all laying out on my desk, not in the holder where they belong. <clears throat> Been busy creating. So we've got the Join the Tummy Club, right? Um, Hobby Plus. Okay, Hobby Plus. I like that. All right, so we're going to put this on here and adhere it down. So I'm going to take my adhesive and put this around the edges. So if you do have a lot of things on your wish list, I would love to have you join my Stamp Field Stars family of demonstrators. Um, you don't have to do any classes or videos or anything like that. Jean does calendars every year, don't you, Jean? 
All right, so I'm going to adhere this down. So we've got that on our card. And let's take this piece and get it stuck down on our metallic piece here. And then we're going to make a whole other card. <gasps> a whole other card. So I meant to put up the information about the project sheets. Did I get that straight, you guys? I think I did. Once again, I'll remind you that I have really horrible eyesight. And I am looking at it through my camera and not with my eyeballs. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pop up here the banner with the free project sheets. There we go. So if you've not yet subscribed to the free project sheets, it is uh, go to suestanfield.com and click on subscribe. And then we're going to put our leaf right here. We're going to grab some dimensionals to mount that. And I thought it would be fun to make another card that's not fall themed with the same set just for fun. And also because tomorrow is my uh, mother and father-in-law's 66th wedding anniversary, or I should say the celebration of their 66th wedding anniversary is tomorrow. So um, we're going out to brunch with everybody and I need a card. And I thought we could make an anniversary card with this leaf. Something about a leaf with seedlings. I don't know seems to match up well with an anniversary. So we're going to add just a little embellishment and this card is going to be done except for our inside part. So I will tell them congratulations. Thank you. So again, we're using the brushed metallic cardstock. Now I'm going to use the brushed metallic adhesive back dots to uh, add a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use the copper ones. Um, I feel like the copper ones actually match this bronze color better than any of the other ones on here. If I was using the gold, I absolutely would use the gold ones. But I'm going to just pop three on here. I always like to work in threes for the embellishments. Um, actually, I might do a little one instead of a big one. Let's try that. Oh, come here, you. There we go. All right, so there we have our fall card. Let's uh, just pop a panel inside. But first, let's stamp that beautiful thinking of you on there. Please tell me I didn't put away the cherry cobbler. Oh, I didn't. Just lost it, but I didn't put it away. All right. So we're going to put this pretty thinking of you. Oh, I like that idea, Janine. Um, Janine's going to do a similar card with pine needles. I like it for a Christmas card. Yeah, I love cherry cobbler too. What a great color, right? So we're going to add our thinking of you right in here on the inside. And oh, what the heck. Let's just add... A teensy bit of our leaf coming in here on the edge just to kind of uh, match up with the front of the card and a little little fall fun on the inside right all right so let's stick this in and this next one I'm hoping that you guys will help me design it because <laughs> I'm not quite there yet I got some got some decisions to make and you guys are awfully good at chiming in on decisions so all right, we're going to just line this up. And I'm going to remove the... Uh... Oh, what did I just do? I hit the wrong button. Mm -mm -mm. Let's remove that banner. Okay, there we go. So there we have our beautiful soft seedlings uh, call... blah, 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 card <laughs> with the 3D leaf fall embossing folder. So pretty. So now let's change it up. So I'm thinking, okay, so anniversary, not fall, it's July and we're celebrating their anniversary. So I thought 
what would it look like in jiggling the camera sorry soft sea foam so i actually went ahead and stamped and die cut the leaf in the soft sea foam because uh i was worried that i wouldn't be able to get the the cherry cobbler off the stamp enough <laughs> um on you know while we're on camera here so i was afraid oops that's that's the one i messed up hang on oh that's the better one i like this one better you guys do that paper's got two sides right so i've got my leaf cut out so i want to put a layer back here and i i would love you guys to give me your input so we've got a couple options we could do an embossed layer like we did on the first card um, and instead of using the leaf fall folder, we could use, uh, this is the uh, eucalyptus embossing folders. They're actually in the annual catalog. It is a two pack. You do get both of them. I was thinking about doing the eucalyptus leaves and having those kind of come down from the top. Um, one of my viewers sent me a card. <laughs> so sweet. Sue Myers uh, sent me this beautiful card. That's exactly what she used was that eucalyptus embossing folder and she sent me this because of my uh, recent um, uh, retitlement to platinum elite so this is her platinum ribbon down here she said only of silver but hey that's close enough right um, and so uh, that kind of inspired me tonight to use that embossing folder so that's one way we could go that's one option so that's option one our other option is the where are they hang on the splendid day uh designer series paper so these are in the um july through december mini catalog uh, as you can see this one's copper with white on it and on the back is this fun pattern it's a little bit of a floaty flamingo pink tone to it this one which is kind of a um I guess it's kind of a green tint. Um, and on the back side is um, some soft sea foam. That would be really pretty right there. Or, whoa. Mm. Sorry, things are falling. They're slippery papers. This one in the pink tones. And on the back, we've got more of the, this might be like a fresh freesia color, right? Then we have this one, which looks very wedding-ish, doesn't it? Almost got a little bit of a yellow tone or bronze tone to it. And on the back, we have kind of a Sahara sand color. And then this one, which is soft sea foam. I'm just showing you all the patterns right now. And this side, which is the pool party. And then this one, which is the copper again. And the back side is the Calypso coral, maybe. So I thought we could, this would be an option here. We could use that. We could do that eucalyptus. So do you think we should emboss it or do you think we should use DSP? Let's start there. Embossing with the eucalyptus folder or go with a DSP. And there's a couple options we could use on the DSP. So let me know your vote in the comments on which you prefer embossing or dsp dsp by the way stands for designer series paper mm, seeing a lot of each uh, it's a very light green it is a very light green absolutely right janine uh, so two for embossing four for that, three, four and four, five and five, six, six and seven. Oh, it's pretty close. All right, I think the embossing wins, but it was very, very close. So let's grab. That is totally not what I thought would be the winner. I thought the winner was gonna be the DSP. All right, let's grab the die cutting machine. Ooh. And we've got the um, 
number four plate again. These are 3D folders. So we'll take our panel here. Sure, we will see. Where is it? There it is. Found it. Found it. And we're going to lay this on here. And we'll have those dangling. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of like um, a window box. And what is the name of that? Uh, is it Vinca Vine that trails down, you know? So we're going to have our eucalyptus trailing down from the top of our card. Pop this on here. And crank that through. And then we're going to put a piece of metallic cardstock behind. But I would love you guys to help me figure out which one we should use. I've got a couple options for you here. So pretty, isn't it? It's just lovely. Just lovely. All right. Let's put that aside. And we have all sorts of fun things. We've got some ribbon. I love ribbon, especially on an anniversary slash wedding card. Super appropriate, right? This is the soft seafoam ribbon that is actually in the mini catalog as well. Nothing makes me happier than a perfectly matched ribbon. <laughs> so I'm just going to give that a little trim and tie a knot right here. It's such a soft, pretty, pretty color. Let's see if I can get a knot here. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. All right, we got our knot tied. All right, where did my ribbon scissors go? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've got a smaller pair, but all I can find right now is the big ones. That's okay. Whatever works, right? They'll do the job. All right. So we're just going to cut those tails at an angle. We'll just throw the bits on the floor. Why not? <laughs> all right. So this panel is going to go right onto our card here. And let's get our adhesive on here. That is one pretty embossing folder. All right, so now we need to decide. We've got our little leaf here. We need to decide what, ooh, I should have slid that over a little bit. Mm, well, that ship has sailed. Looks like it, oh, you know what? I can, I can get it up. Glue had not set yet, so I'm just gonna slide that over just a scotch so I've got more room for our square. Sorry, guys. I am a little bit of a perfectionist. I admit it. It's a true story. So we've got that. We've got our leaf. And I want to do a little um, metallic behind here. So let's look at our options. We've got silver or gold. Let's try the gold first. Here's what it would look like with the gold. And here is what it would look like with the silver. Which way do you prefer? Silver or gold? That's the silver. Show you again here so you can make an informed decision. And that's the gold. <laughs> Your dog would eat the ribbon scraps. <laughs> Ah, la, 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 la. Gold, gold, silver, 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 silver. I'm seeing lots of silvers. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, possibly another way you could go. Got a good suggestion in the comments here. Another way you could do it, go is you could go with the, uh, the specialty paper um, for a little shimmer that way. Uh, okay, I'm going to look at my boats again. Silver, gold, silver, gold. Uh, hey, Susan. Uh, silver, silver, silver. I'm thinking the silver one out. But several of you said they both look good. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so let's go with the silver. All right, so we're gonna put some adhesive on here. This is the back. I made a boo-boo when I first stamped it. I stamped it too close to the edge and I missed the point. So I redid it on this side. That's that beauty of that two-sided paper, right? Goodness, I cannot put things on straight tonight. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and pop that up with some dimensionals. Just do a little bow fluffing there. <laughs> All right, where are our dimensionals at? And then we're gonna add a little bit of bling. I'm thinking, we, well, we've got two options for the bling too. <clears throat> well, more than two, but we'll try to keep it to two, maybe three, two or three. <clears throat> Gold is too much, they thought. Is scotch a Minnesota term? Did I say scotch? It's a beverage, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. Pop that on there. Sorry, I was off camera. My, my bad. All right, and we're going to add a little bit of bling. So I'm using silver. So I'm trying to think of things that go well with silver. So one option is your classic rhinestones which you know seems sort of anniversary ish right so we've got one option is the rhinestones come on and then another thought i had was um, in the festive pearls from the mini we have these little silver pearls so that would also be a good match up and let's see i had one other thing i thought of i'm not sure if i if we're gonna like this or not but we have the um Adhesive back seasonal sequins. So they come in, a, I don't know, what would you call that? Like iridescent maybe? So you get them in, in like a coral, you get them in the green, and then you get this one. And also, not sure where the other sheet is, but it's gold. It's what I used for the doorknobs um, on the door. So obviously we're not going to use these guys, but so those are our three choices. So one, two, or three, let me know your choice. One are the rhinestones. Two are the little um, festive pearls. It comes in three colors. And I'm thinking probably the silver, although this pool party color, no, it's too blue. Yeah, probably the silver. Or we could go with the seasonal sequins which are kind of an iridescent. And I think any of those would work. So one is rhinestones, two is the little silver pearls, and three is the sequins. I'm seeing a lot of different numbers here. <laughs> ah, everybody is, oh, Jean loves the heart pearls. Jean loves the heart pearls. She's saying we need the heart pearls for the anniversary. All right, let's take a look. Ah, heart pearls, where are they? These are the heart pearls. Yeah, I think I want to go silver for this one, but that would be a, a nice anniversary touch, wouldn't it? Um, silver or the... Uh... Oh, a skosh means a little bit. Oh, yeah, somebody asked about that term. Yeah, it is a Minnesota term. I'm actually from Iowa, but I picked it up here. <laughs> Uh, I am seeing a lot of number twos. So we're going to go with number two. Um, I don't think there's a bad choice here, but let's go with number two, which are these cute little festive pearls. They're just a nice, bright and shiny silver. So I'm just going to stick three of those over here. on the side so there we have a little bling going on there you could also add them right to the to the actual image and scatter them around or you could do them in a row of threes you know three in a row all sorts of options right so there we have the front of our card now for the inside of the card 
I want to stamp a um, happy anniversary message. Um, the one I'm going to stamp is uh, do I have that at hand. Okay, it's going to be this one <laughs> uh, in different colors. Uh, but I have a friend that just borrowed this set tonight for a birthday card she's working on. So I have to get it back from her so I can stamp that. But so we're going to um, leave that out of the inside. But it is their 66th anniversary. So I think we should have a couple numbers here, a couple sixes. So we use silver. So I'm going to grab the silver uh, brushed cardstock. This is a die set from the mini catalog. It makes an adorable little box and you could add antlers and bat wings, um, bunny ears. Um, these are the deer ears for the, uh, the, the, the deer box, but it also comes with numbers so that you can do like advent boxes. Um, I think numbers are super handy for anniversary cards or for those special birthdays, right? So we're going to cut a couple sixes here. So let me grab our die cutting machine. Of course you can case this design, Pat. Always. I'm always honored when people uh, replicate my designs. All right, so we're going to add in our number two plates because we're die cutting. Or I should say the thin die adapter here. And then we'll put in number, plate number three. And then we need another plate number three. I only need the six. I don't need all the other numbers. So I'm actually just going to grab my scissors. Got a little glitter washi tape on them from, uh, <laughs> from our witch here. I'm going to just um, chop a chunk of this off more than I need but and I'm going to just do a couple of these hopefully that's big enough all right so 66 years married that's pretty dang cool isn't it so I'm going to put that on here send that through and because I don't have the happy anniversary greeting um I know I have more floating around here, um, but they're smaller. I really like that one. <laughs> so I will finish the card with the anniversary greeting and I will post it in our, um, in our Facebook group. Here we go and pop out my little six here. So cute. And you actually get the frame of the six as well. So you could make another six by adhering, come here you, <laughs> saving the center and adhering that down. Hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense? And make another six that way, whichever you prefer or use them both for different things, right? So I pop this off of here and let's get another six. All right, off you go, out of the way. There we go. And one more six right here for this special anniversary card. For die cutting with mini, what are the plate layers? Oh, you guys, I just dropped my take your pick tool with the pokey end in one end, and it came very close to my foot. I'm really glad that pokey end didn't land in my foot. I bet you are too, because I would have screamed. <laughs> Boy, stamping, it can be dangerous. Let me tell you. All right, let's bring that back up. Um, Pat's question was on the mini machine, what layers do you use for this? Um, so on the mini machine, you follow the layers. It actually lists it right on the little plates. Poke our other little six out here. There you go. Get this guy out. All right, I'm going to set that aside. One thing, it's good not to have a scratch plate on top of the metallics because the scratches make indentations. You are absolutely right. Um, this one, it didn't matter so much because the part I was capturing was, well, it was protected by the die. But that's why I like to cut my metallics right to the size that I want them to so that I can uh, avoid that, um, you know, losing some metallics by having them get marked up and then I can't use them. So we've got our 66 years here. 
let me grab a oh things are falling that's about normal around here so we've got a four my five and a quarter piece and that will go inside our card and I'm going to put um, the happy anniversary and then the 66 years right inside so so those are our cards for tonight let me bring the other one back in thank you all for helping me design this one here's our fall version and that was with the soft seedlings um, stamp set and this one was with the leaf fall embossing folder and this one was with the eucalyptus so I'm going to pop around here. I did want to remind you, um, as I mentioned, the crafter noon tutorials are about to come out. So um, if you want to know as soon as they are available, when that blog post goes up, you can actually subscribe. Um, if you go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, you've got two options. You can subscribe for my free project sheets in the email. Um, you can also subscribe for any blog posts that I put up. So when a post goes up, you're notified. And so you'll be one of the first to know <laughs> when those tutorials are available. I'm going to switch cameras here. There we go. Thanks so much for letting me share tonight. Thanks for helping me design the anniversary card for my in-laws. I appreciate it. <laughs> And uh, can't wait to um, share with you, share those tutorials when those go up. And there might be an alternate there that you haven't seen. So uh, you might want to watch for that blog post. I will have photos of all the cards up there. And I'll be back on Tuesday evening at 730 Central Time with another uh, creative video. So hope you can join me then. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, my family is probably wants their supper. So we're going to go grill out now. So take care. The rain has stopped. So I think we can slip that in. Um, have a great rest of your night. And we'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>